Susan Perry. I'm a lampwork glass artist. Lampwork glass is an ancient art form that predates the birth of Christ. Today, modern artists like I are fortunate to have torches that are fed by gas instead of having to use oil lamps and having someone behind us with a bellows to flame our heat. When I'm creating something over the torch, the first thing I will do is to select a mandrel size that's stainless steel coated with a special clay material called bead release, which will keep my, my whatever I'm making from permanently sticking to the mandrel. Then I will heat it in the torch just a little bit till I see it glow and then put it back behind the flame. That flame's between two and 3,000 degrees hot. And I think about things sequentially, what's gonna be at the bottom, what's gonna come on top. I will move my mandrel in different directions if I want to round something out or make the glass move in a certain direction. I will rough out my shape and then I will use various tools to give it details. I always say that glass is my teacher, that you know what something looks like until you have to make it. But I like making blown glass seashells. I, I love doing sculptural whimsical creatures, fish, mermaids, you name it and I want to try to make it. I was recently given the privilege of representing the state of Tennessee at the National Tree Lighting Ceremony in Washington, D.C. One artist per state was selected and I represented Tennessee. I did two different designs. This ornament is a takeoff on the Tennessee state flag. I reversed the colors on purpose so that the stars would stand out because red glass has gold in its chemistry and it chemically reacts with fine silver when I, when I put the two together. And the other ornament I did over the torch I depicted the rolling hills and mountains of Tennessee. I did a landscape scene. And I'm really proud to tell you that the landscape was hung at the very, very top of the tree underneath the star. I have been working with glass for over 10 years now, but there's always something to learn. And just about anything you can imagine can be made out of glass with time and patience and learning to see.